Hello, and today we are going to be making this amazingly easy no need focaccia. This bread does require an overnight proof, so make sure that you start it the day before you want to eat it. You will need dry yeast, honey, plain flour, sea salt flakes, extra virgin olive oil, butter, and garlic. First measure seven grams of instant dry yeast. Then add two teaspoons or 15 grams of honey, and two and a half cups of lukewarm water. Make sure it's about 40 degrees Celsius. You don't want it to be too hot. If you can't hold your hand in the water, it's too hot. Whisk it and let it sit for 10 minutes. This is called blooming and if no bubbles form, it means your yeast is dead and you should start with new yeast. Add 625 grams of plain flour and three teaspoons of sea salt flakes. Then you're just going to mix this together until a shaggy dough forms. It's not going to look pretty, it's going to look a little bit craggy, just make sure there's no dry streaks left. In a large bowl that will fit in your fridge, measure three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and then you're just going to dump in your craggy weird looking mixture into the oil and just Flip it over in your hands to make sure the dough is covered. We're not actually mixing it together, we're not incorporating the oil, we're just coating the dough in the oil. It's going to look kind of like gross, like a brain, but don't worry, it's going to look better later. Cover it with cling wrap and then we're just going to put it in the fridge for no more than 36 hours. After 15 hours, I was ready to bake mine, but you could bake it from 8 hours onwards. When you're ready, cover your pan with butter and add one tablespoon of olive oil to the bottom. So how does this dough even work without being kneaded? Well, it's with the help of enzymes. Flour naturally contains enzymes that break down long proteins into shorter ones in a process called autolysis. By letting the dough prove for a long time, the proteins are broken down so much that even the tiniest movement from the carbon dioxide bubbles from the yeast can cause them to align and link up like they would in the process of kneading. So what we're doing here is we're just folding our dough on itself four times. So use two forks and just go around four times and fold the sides of the dough down onto itself. Then we just simply need to plop the dough into the pan and just turn it over, make sure it's covered in oil. And we're going to let that prove in a warm place for about two to four hours. To see if the dough is ready, poke it with your finger. It should spring back slowly, leaving a small visible indentation. If it springs back quickly, the dough isn't ready. If at this point the dough is ready to bake but you aren't, you can chill it up to one hour. Next, just make sure your fingers are lightly oiled and then you're just going to pretend like you're aggressively playing the piano and dimple the dough, making sure you make depressions all the way down to the bottom of the pan as you do this. Next, just sprinkle with some sea salt flakes, drizzle lightly with some extra virgin olive oil, and bake in an oven preheated to 230 degrees Celsius for 20 to 30 minutes or until puffed and golden brown. To make the garlic butter topping, you're just gonna melt 40 grams of unsalted butter until it bubbles, and then grate in with a microplane or just finely chop four to six peeled cloves of garlic. Then you're just going to put that back onto the stove until it's bubbled for about 30 seconds. Brush the melted garlic butter over the top of your bread just before you're ready to serve and then take it out of the tray and cut it into pieces. And there you have it, a beautifully textured, easy to make bread without all the hard work.